Welcome to From the Den Podcast, providing Bears and NFL fans alike with compelling news, discussion, and debate. I'm your co-host, Benjamin, joined alongside my dear friend and co-host, Or. Hey, Benjamin. Let's get right into it. As always, kickoff starts now. On to your time with the Miami Dolphins. In 2018, the Miami Dolphins played the Patriots at home. And in the final play, you set a key block on Patrick Chung that enabled the famous miracle in Miami to occur. So can you just relive that experience for us? Yeah, I mean, that's a, a play that, you know, you practice a bunch and you, you never think it's going to happen. But then when it does happen, you want to make sure that you were paying attention you know, when you were practicing that play. So to have a chance to win the game, uh, you like to think that uh, that's, that's an unlikely thing. But, I mean, it's happened more than more than you would think. And with a play like that, it kind of shows you that, that it's not over until it's over, right? Like, you know, there's seven seconds on the clock and you're on, the, you're on your own 30, but there's still a chance uh, as long as you, you keep the ball moving and you keep, you know, don't go down with the ball is kind of the idea there. And then I went down and made, ended up making a block and, and helped some guys make get open and, and the guys made a play. So, At what point did you realize that Kenyon Drake scored? that he was like nearing the end zone and that you actually had a chance to win it oh yeah well I mean he kind of just ran by me and and I think I kind of just was like trying trying to catch up but I think once you get past a certain level of their defense you kind of realize that there might be a shot you know because you break a couple tackles there's only a couple guys left so when you get in the space like that it's tough to tough as the defense because that's not it's kind of an atypical type of play uh did you or anyone else on the team have a feeling that something was going to happen or was it just shock for everyone? No, I mean, a shock. And I think that's what kind of leads to that. Uh, you know, when there's a celebration, like it's just like kind of unbelievable, but I mean, you always have faith that if you execute the play, it's going to work. And, <clears throat> you know, obviously it worked there. So that, that kind of, that success, you know, breeds confidence. And if I'm in that situation again, I'm sure I'll have a little bit more success than someone who hasn't been in that situation. You got a biceps injury in the 2017 season. You were placed on injury reserve, and you came back around week eight or nine. How did that injury affect the rest of your season? Uh, well, I've never had the surgery before, so <clears throat> or a surgery to re- repair something like a torn muscle or ligament. So the bicep was completely torn off the bone, and so they had to reattach it. And I, so I thought my season was over. It was early in training camp. But I actually, I kind of like figured out, I mean, it's like a, I got hurt very early in training camp. I knew I could come back after week eight. And so I had like three months to rehab the injury and I worked as hard as I could to rehab the injury and and be in shape and be strong. And so when you're coming back from a completely torn uh, tendon like that, obviously you're a little weaker, but I felt like I was in great shape. And I kind of, as the season got along and progressed, I got stronger and was able to play better towards the end of the year. But I definitely uh, missed that first half of the year. I mean, that's all, the, all of that training camp and all of that time playing, it takes you a little while to catch up to the speed of the game. If you enjoyed this episode of From the Den, please remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Or if you're a Packers fan, remember to dislike and leave a nasty comment. Click the links on the screen to access additional content.